All right, exam four, problem two. Um, so your microwave runs at 2450 megahertz. You have a five centimeter radius cup, place 0.2 k kilograms of water. It's running your microwave for two minutes. Temperature of the water is increased by 60 degrees C. So the question, the first question is how much energy was added to the water? Well, the energy added to the water is just all the heat, Q, right? So the equation, I mean, the equation's right there, right? So, um, so <clears throat> mass of the water is 0.2 kilos. The um, specific heat of water is 4185 joules per kilogram degree C, and the delta T is 60 degrees C. Let's pop over to Excel. We've got um, 0.2 kilos. We have 4185 joules per kilogram degree C for the specific heat of water and we have 60 degrees C as the delta so the total heat added is just the product of these three. Oh yes there is a typo there thank you. So um, 50 kilojoules right 50.2 kilojoules Okay, so B, what is the power being delivered by the microwave? All right, so what is power? Power is energy divided by time, All right? So Q divided by this time, the time that it took to deliver this. So it's the 50.2 kilojoules divided by the two minutes or 120 seconds, All right? So we've got 120 seconds, we've got 50.2 kilojoules, and the power is 418.5 uh, watts. 418.5 watts. A watt is a joule per second. All right. All right, assuming the power is only absorbed over the surface area of the top of the water, what is the intensity of electromagnetic waves in your microwave? Okay surface area over the top of the water all right we have a um, did I give you the radius yes I gave you the radius we have a radius 5 centimeters or 0 0.05 meters which means we have an area of pi times the radius oh, times the radius squared so our area is 0 0.007854 square meters all right the area which is pi r squared is 0 0.007847854 um, meters squared all right um, it's asking for intensity I skipped a step here. Intensity is power, power per unit area. Whoop. All right. So we have the power, we have the area. Now we calculate the intensity. Here's our area, here's our power. So our intensity is the power per unit area. Our intensity is um, 53,285.07 uh, watts per square meter. So 53.3 um, kilowatts per square meter. All right, 53.3 kilowatts per square meter. Um, what is the peak electric field? Okay, for this we turn to I equals one half of C epsilon naught E not well, not squared. So the intensity is one half of the speed of light times the permittivity of free space times the electric field, um, the maximum electric field, our peak electric field squared. So if we solve this for peak electric field, first. Um, this is 2i divided by c epsilon naught, right? 
and then taking the square root of both sides, 2i divided by c epsilon naught. Let me get that naught in there. There we go. All right. And there you have the formula. We have the intensity. We know the speed of light. We know epsilon naught once we look it up, right? So at this point, we're talking about plugging everything into the formula and coming up with an answer. All right. Let's pop over to Excel. And on our way to Excel, we'll grab the value of epsilon naught, which is 8.854 times 10 to the minus 12th, right? So epsilon naught, 8.854 times 10 to the minus 12th in those units, Coulomb squared per Newton meter squared, right? Okay. Um, so, and we have the speed of light, 3e e to the eighth. We have the intensity right here. And so what we're looking for is the square root of two times the intensity divided by the speed of light and divided by epsilon naught. And we get 14,834. 14,8,34. And that's going to be volts per meter. 14,834 volts per meter, right? We could also write that 14,834 newtons per coulomb. Um, those are the two major units we use for electromag uh, for electric field. Okay, and then there comes the bonus. Um, given that the energy in a single photon is the frequency of the photon times Planck's constant, right? How many photons does this amount of energy 50.2 kilojoules represent? Right, so I'm going to say u whoop, u sub uh, photon equals h f equals. All right, Planck's constant. Anybody remember Planck's constant? 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 joule seconds. 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34. 6.62 to 6 times 10 to the minus 34 joules seconds. What is our frequency? Our frequency on in this problem is 2450 megahertz, right? So that's 2450 times 10 to the 6th hertz. All right. Um, so the energy in a single photon is the product of these two, right? That's energy in a single 1.62 times 10 to the minus 24. 0.62 10 to the minus 24 joules is the energy in a single photon, right? Okay, and now the um, number of photons, number of photons equals the total energy that we put into it, right, divided by the energy per photon. All right? So that's going to be our uh, 54, 53, was it 53? 50.2 kilojoules. 50.2 kilojoules. 50.2 kilojoules divided by the energy per photon, right? So 50.2 kilojoules divided by the energy per photon, and we get 3 times 10 to the 28th photons. Photons. Double check. Yep. And that's it for problem two.